part one, soil and land factors. The soil factors that we're going to be evaluating are A, soil depth. And underneath that category, it gives you the specific inches of soil depth and asks you to place the soil at that particular location into one of those depth ranges. Those ranges are shallow, which is less than 20 inches of soil profile, moderately deep from 20 to 40 inches, deep from 40 to 72 inches, or very deep if we have an excess of six feet of soil profile. Well, depending upon the pit site location that you're at, you may not be able to see a full six feet or more of the profile depth. If you are in that situation and have a pit site where perhaps it's only been excavated to a depth of four feet, if you don't see any restrictions or bedrock or shale or any type of, of restrictive layers in the profile to the depth to the bottom of the pit, then you should consider that uh, soil to be very deep under those circumstances. If, however, within the depth of the uh, profile that's been exposed to you, you see some sort of restriction or restrictive layer that would uh, be a barrier to permeability or water movement or rooting depth of plants or those types of things, uh, then you should measure the depth from the top of the soil to that location and determine how many inches of, of depth there are in that profile and place it into the appropriate category underneath item A, soil depth. Let's say, for example, on soil depth, we determine the depth of the profile at this location to be 48 inches or 4 feet. Well, that would fit into the moderately, or excuse me, that would fit into the deep category. So if we look at deep, the soil depth of 48 inches, fitting into that deep category, we are then asked on part two of the scorecard to go through and determine what amount of limitation that would present for each of those four intended uses that are outlined for you at the top of this card under part two. The first use that we need to evaluate a depth of soil, of soil profile of 48 inches to see how it would affect it would be uh, dwellings without basements. And in that category, if we have greater than 40 inches of soil, we would mark this as being a slight limitation. Lawns, landscaping, and golf fairways, the parameters are the same. So if we have greater than 40 inches of soil, which in this example we do, that would also be a slight limitation. So we should circle this or darken the circle beside uh, greater than 40 inches under lawns, landscaping, and golf fairways, as well as under dwellings without basements. The third utilization of this site that we are evaluating for is for a septic tank absorption field. Septic tank absorption fields require a greater depth of profile than any of the other uses uh, in terms of the degree of limitation that would be associated with this. So in order for a septic tank absorption field site or a site that's to be utilized for that to be considered slight or no restrictions, we'd have to have over six feet or 72 inches of soil profile depth. Well, at 48 inches, we fit into the moderate category that fits between 40 and 72 inches. So on page 27 again, we should have circled uh, the circle corresponding between 40 and 72 or a moderate limitation for the depth of 48 inches. And then on the last utilization, there are local roads and streets. The 48 inches puts us up into the uh, slight or none to slight limitation again. So I think you can see from this one example, as we go through this card, all we're really being asked to do is to evaluate the factors on the left-hand side of the card, part one, and then look at the right-hand side of the card and determine what degree of limitation that particular characteristic that has been evaluated would present for the particular utilization of that site. 